Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for August 1st, 2016. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, uh, we obviously have a very tightly coiled range that has played out over the last two plus weeks. And in pre market trading here, we see prices trading just above the top end of that range heading into uh, Monday's trading. The one thing to keep in mind here is what I always say, whenever you have a significantly tightly coiled range in this manner, the first breakout can often be, oftentimes be the false breakout before a move in the opposite direction. So keep that in mind. If prices are trading above uh, 2172s here, and then all of a sudden by the end of the day or later on in the morning, we can't sustain those highs, we could be looking at a move in the opposite direction and a test at the opposite end of the a range at the very least. Uh, and, and perhaps a move into 2120. Now what I have said before now, uh, given the, the overall strength, if we do see a pullback, it's likely going to be a buying opportunity at 2120 for another attempt at new highs. But prices could be a little overextended at the moment. They could be a little tired and at that time usually you need to see a pullback before you see further strength. So just something to keep in mind here. If prices cannot maintain uh, levels above 2172s here, we could be looking at a move at the opposite end of the range uh, earlier this week. All right, let's take a look at the intraday time frame here. On an intraday basis, you can see here that we've had a pretty uh, aggressive overnight here where we had a nice move down, a big push up, 77.75 uh, was the high, and then another push back against the range here. So one thing to keep in mind, again, 2172 is about right here. If prices get up into this zone and they can't really reestablish themselves, that could be a selling opportunity back against the range into 61s and perhaps back toward the lower 50s. So keep that in mind. Right now, we do have a nice wide-ranging trading range right now. Uh, VWAP virtually flat, and uh, we could see a little bit more back and forth. But again, if prices cannot get back above 2175s here, that could be a call to arms to sell this thing back toward 2160. All right, let's take a look now at uh, crude oil. Here's crude, and if we take a look at the daily time frame right now, you'll see that prices have continued trending lower. And one thing I mentioned before is that we have been very, very bearish, especially after taking value offered, and that is suggestive of a move to the bottom of value on a composite basis. On this chart, we have composite VAL at 3706 so we could be looking at much much more weakness ahead so I mentioned before any bounce is likely to be a selling opportunity doesn't matter if it's a one day bounce a two day bounce a three day bounce uh, anything shy of 44 is here is still going to be a selling opportunity for an attempt to extend this thing down toward 37s and we don't even have rejection until we see 35s so that's the significant rejection and that would likely be a first test buy opportunity so right now 42s that's resistance uh, and, and currently we're seeing a rejection above Friday's highs. That is indicative of uh, weakness to come and a likely selling opportunity toward 39s to begin the week. All right, let's take a look at the intraday time frame. Here's the intraday right here. Looking at the intraday, you'll see that uh, we saw the early push higher and then a, a rejection here at 41.88, and now we've seen a push already into our primary bear target for the day, 40.95s. Uh, Based off of the previous week's close, previous session's close here, 41.38, the expectation is the bears are looking to defend this zone for a shot at seeing a continuation toward 40.63 and perhaps lower. Any push above 41.40 here opens up a retest back toward recent highs, but again, uh, 42 is likely to remain offered until proven otherwise. Okay, let's take a look now at gold futures. Here's a look at gold. Let's bring it into the daily time frame. Right now, gold is doing exactly what we thought it would do, which was bounce off of the 1306 to 1310 zone to push toward 1370 to 1380. I mentioned for a couple of weeks that we could see a 60 to 70 handle rally here toward 1370 to 1380. The highs here Friday were in the 1360s, so we're very, very close to reaching that target. Right now, it's a very nice area here where, where bulls are doing business. You can see previous highs here, price going bid there. So this zone, 1350 to 1352, is currently an area where bulls are looking to defend and extend this move up toward 1370s. 
Uh, any failure to hold above 1350 opens up a rotation down, but still bulls are looking to defend uh, any pullback for a continuation higher until proven otherwise. Lastly, let's take a look at the NQ. NQ has been a runaway train, a slow moving runaway train, but it has continued to extend the range higher very, very quietly. But again, we have just now gotten into the 4730s and that was the major area here where we knew there's significant resistance. So if you look back here in history, you can see there's some significant resistance here where prices just could not get through that zone and that subsequently led to a major move down. I don't know if we're going to see that type of significant sell-off off of this zone, but again, the market could be a little too far overextended. It could be running out of energy and the only way to gas back up is to, is to pull back and entice these sellers to get into the market so that you can then squeeze and run the stop. So right now, uh, just a little quiet, slow-moving train to the upside. Uh, 4730 is still an area to watch for some sort of rejection, but until that occurs, it's still a very quiet buy-the-dips opportunity for, for new highs. Uh, at some point here, any failure to hold that 4730 could spark a pullback. And again, any pullback uh, as deep as 40, 4550 could still be a great buying opportunity for another attempt higher. Let's take a look at the intraday time frame for the NQ, here we are. So here's the intraday time frame right now. Again, 47.30 is a, a big time level to watch. That's the previous week's close right there, right on the button. And right now, um, bulls are trying to hold above that zone. Again, that's gonna be the key level to watch here today. I would say short term, 47.36 half. If price comes into that area, it could be a short term selling opportunity back toward 47.17s. Uh, that is the primary bear target for the day. And so uh, the extension below that would be 470790, and that's a 100% target uh, based off average daily range over the last 10 sessions. So again, uh, look for any kind of push into this zone. It could be a quick selling opportunity down into 4717 with a shot at seeing 4707s. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the new week and the new month of trading. Good luck and trade well.